So for my senior year this year at Colchester High School, I'm doing an alternative program where it's uh, basically an internship. I'm volunteering 20 to 25 hours a week between Miles Bay Fire Department and Colchester Rescue Squad. What's been different for me as a student is that I have been an intern in Governor Shumlin's office since mid-February. I've taken their traditional path. Hopping on a plane uh, for the second semester, headed down to Wangrad, Australia. Actually working here in the IT department. So in my eighth grade year, I started mentoring at Mount Space School, and I continued it into my high school years. In tenth grade, I decided to take an online course on VHS. Taking a college class at UVM, um, and I took Creative Writing 101. I was always interested in taking a course on human development and education. <laughs> My pathway is youth build and uh, I came from Colchester and because I wanted to do uh, construction and carpentry. How I decided to do something different was um, regular, the traditional regular route to graduation didn't really offer me any wiggle room in how I got real world experience. Traditional high school just wasn't like really my thing, I guess. Um, youth field's kind of different and they uh, like they worked with you a lot more and uh, it's kind of more hands-on. I decided to take a different path because I was kind of stuck in a routine back home and I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and challenge myself. I think the best part for me is I get to take an hour away from school, not that I don't enjoy school, but I get to go over there and see kids that are just so happy every day, even if they're having a bad day, they're happy. So I get to go over there and be with them and it's like contagious. It's given me like three years extra time to really figure out that this is what I want to do. I started this my freshman year in high school and uh, so it's given me a, a pretty much a three year head start on deciding what I want to do for the rest of my life. You can learn so many tools and then you can meet people who really have the same passion as you. Just like going to college you're gonna meet people with the same passion um, and it'll make it so much more interesting um, and you can bond that way. So. Some advice I'd have for any student that in CHS or anywhere that wants to personalize their learning plan and go do something different, I would say go for it because even though there are some risks like getting behind in schoolwork, which is really stressful, and falling behind in classes, I think that the learning experience that you gain outside of these four walls is oftentimes more important than any book work that you can do. Um, if I could do one thing differently, it would probably be not focusing on math classes and not focusing on doubling up to think I need to get to where I'm supposed to be rather than where I want to be going. When you're on your own path, you know it. And uh, it feels good knowing that you're taking a different approach and it also really does help you figure out your future plans. This has taught me so many skills that I'm going to need and it's taught me it early, so I'm more prepared than jumping into a college program not having any background in it other than babysitting, because babysitting is a lot different than what we do here and what teachers do every day. I'm actually fixing the computers when the teachers are sitting there yelling at their computer. I can tell them, stop, this is what you have to do, and then it actually fixes their problem. Um, to do something out of the ordinary in high school feels pretty great, I think, because it definitely sets you apart from other kids. I knew that you could get credit when you go to college by taking a college class, so that would be one less class, and uh, there were really cool options that I can't take at the school. And not that we're just trying to ruin our community, but we're trying to be a part of it and yeah. build it up and not down. Just step out of your comfort zone. Just experience the unknown. I mean, that's when you really learn, when you have to, uh, you're emotionally uncomfortable, but you have to break through to that brighter side. That really teaches you who you are and that teaches you how to deal with tough situations. Uh, I have recommended alternative pathways to other students and I definitely would continue to do so. I think that it's a great thing. The biggest piece of advice that I would give to anybody is to find something that, you're, that you love and you're passionate about and go get it. And there's going to be obstacles in the road, but there's obstacles in every road, so just get through it, fight through it, and get that goal.